We are filled with Henri Michaud right now, yeah. just completely filled. I feel like the book exploded on stage. Does it feel that way from the inside? Um, you know, it is, is so much fun because um, we're really given this score and um, it's, it's like we have, we're given a permission to sort of jump into all of these possibilities, like, you know, craziness or, um, you know, humor and, and, and just like um, an extreme metamorphosis and mutation and that we're able to then sort of like, you know, move the body in a way and become all of these different emotions and figures and, and, um, and it also, it's, it's really fun for the mind as well to, to allow yourself to go to those places. Um, you know, because we, we don't do that when we're just walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> From your experience of um, inhabiting these ink blots, what, what does it feel like for you um, to become? Okay. Um, it's just quick change every time. It's like you just do it, full out something, you just go ahead, and when you come back, it's like nothing happened and <laughs> we're somewhere else. And when you come back, you're like <laughs> extremely somewhere else and it's just always like switch on and off. Does it yeah. change night to night? Um, do your shapes change? I mean, is it... Is it well, n no, I mean, we follow right. pretty much like, you know, because uh, it, that's kind of our score. But I mean the intensities, or sometimes like the the yeah the intention of how we're going to. Sometimes it might be a little bit softer. Sometimes uh -huh. it just might be all that much harder, or that much uh, more involved, or that you might take it in another angle, or your rhythm might be a little bit off. Uh -huh. You know, different okay. in yeah. terms of like, and that adds another layer, another dynamic, or to to it. And so in that way, it it changes. Um, Tonight, because I've seen it a couple of times, yeah. seemed really explosive. Like, yeah, we were like, it, it's we like, like Henri Michaud just blew up <laughs> on the pillow, <laughs> the yeah. pillow stage, and uh, <laughs> and then he and then he talks to us so sweetly at the end. Right. <laughs> it was. It, I'm so glad that his words are included. I, I know that's part of the book, but to have his voice, um, and he seems to be asking for someone to um, take these shapes, and it's like. Marie Schwinar did. <laughs> it was really great. I wanted to ask about the sounds. Um, did you, um, those were some amazing sounds, weren't they? Uh, the very first sound that comes, um, is that you that's making that sound? Well, that is an amazing sound. So um, how did that develop? Um, well, the, the whole, the, the piece actually started um, with a solo. You know, this actually was a project that Marie wanted to do when she was dancing, because well, she had stopped dancing for a while. And um, so she, it was a book that was given to her by a really close friend of hers. And so she always had it as a project that she wanted to do for herself. As a solo? As a solo. Oh, wow. And, okay. um, and then at a certain point, she decided to pull it out and to start it as a solo. Mm -hmm. on 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 me and and um, and so she she would really work with the drawings and and then she would be like oh this one needs a sound you know it was something that just for her it, the, the 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 movement wasn't complete without that sound and so for certain especially because they have the mouth open or it's a she it, it feels like it's a call or so for her it, it that was how she interpreted it. And so, Catherine, are you used to using um, sound in your practice as a dancer before um, coming yeah. to? Yeah. So that was, is that exciting for you to add that element? So, so exciting. I, I was doing musicals uh. before. <laughs> 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 like completely different. Completely different. But there's something about that, the expression of, um, yeah, the vibration of it through the dance, the sound inside that goes with the dance and the moves. It, I feel like full yeah. when it, it comes together. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, somewhere well, else. The thing that I noticed that really struck me for the whole company um, is, is how you use your faces. 
the faces are choreographed or do you, is it an expression you just bring to it? I mean, how much detail does she give you about the face? Because I'm not used to seeing dancers' faces have so much shape and intention. And that, it's very exciting. But can you, can you maybe, uh, Catherine, do you, you want to talk a little bit about the using your face? That way you're, a, you're an actor, so <laughs> you're used to using your face. Um, it's not choreographed, ah. but no. No, okay. No, every time it changes, and sometimes we surprise ourselves. I got that feeling. Yeah. I got that feeling. Yeah, I, it's Chopin, for example. Yes. Um, I didn't do it a lot. Like, it's really new for me. Mm -hmm. So here I found a lot of things with just the audience also, like how they respond. And, and every time it's like you connect to where you are in, in life, in the day. Mm -hmm. And how you can connect with the intention, but sometimes, yeah, there's an intention, there's a play, there is a, an emotion maybe, but we can, like in an, one emotion, you can go in many, like, um, palettes. Yeah. yeah. Like, like facets. Facets, yeah, yeah exactly. Colors. S colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you play with that, and yeah, we surprise ourselves every night. It's yeah. also something very physical, like some of the pieces, some of the, like, it, it's kind of within uh, Marie's movement patterns, like, you know, we have all of the spinal column, we have all of the writing, the hand gestures. There's a lot of also eye movement, eye association with connective, with the, with the hands. Um, and then, and then th there is also um, a real visceral physicality and that visceral physicality is an ex you know like the face becomes an extension a, a, a mirror of that sort of internal world yes. uh, that internal physicality and and so in in that way because it's not like we try and do you know put a story on the movement mm -hmm. it's the movement that brings that emotion out or brings that expression out it comes from a very physical place and so in 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 that way it's not set like marie doesn't say i want to see this expression mm -hmm. or that but it comes from the individual living the experience in the moment that brings that out. I think that's exactly my experience as an audience member. And the, when the Chopin was the first piece that I saw, and I, I, I described it as, I think they're swallowing Chopin. It's like they're, <laughs> they're mainlining, it's, go, they're, it's going into their body, and that's, you know, so yeah. it, it has a very organic sense. I read in the program that um, she has developed a technique a movement technique that you teach. Um, so how, how do you train? Um, because you do all move with incredible dexterity. The hands are um, amazing and uh, spine. And so what is your training like? How, how is that? How does that work? Well, we, we all train differently. So we, ah. we, we, we um, have a freedom in terms of, you know, some people go and do ballet classes, Pilates, yoga, um, uh, Gaga, they all different, you know, and they come, everybody comes from sort of different schoolings. Some people are coming from mime or theater, some people are coming from, so it's a real mix. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we're, we are given that freedom to continue exploring in those many versatile possibilities, um, and depending on the pieces that we're doing, and depending on um, sometimes even the research, like Marie will bring in different teachers, Feldenkrais, or uh, you know, singing, yeah, yes, singing, acting, or uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. clown work, or yeah. different, all continuum, different. Continuum. Uh, yeah. oh, you did some meditation. continuum. Oh yeah, we wow! We do meditation with Marie. Oh. Qigong, yeah, all different, and then and then that becomes part of sort of like you know uh, a cellular history, and then um, and 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 then within the choreography, it's it's the the research of the work. You know, there's there's a baseline um, that Marie develops, and that's her technique. And what you know, once again, having to do with all of the spinal column movement and um, the relationship between, you know, the earth, the sky, the heart, the, you know, all of the sort of, you know, the feet. 
<laughs> it goes on and on. <laughs> it, but it's, it comes from, it, you know, it's comes, it, it's comes from the research that we do within the choreography, the development, the creative process that then becomes part of a, a way we are. Okay, so this is a question yeah. about the, um, your monologue in the Chopin yeah. piece, which I thought was a political speech. I know. It's funny <laughs> because here in the United, here, being here, everybody, uh, each night somebody comes up and says, is that political? Uh, and I'm like, hmm, I'm glad I'm not alone with that. So can you tell us what that speech was? Um, well, so it, it originated, yes, from a score within the, um, Chopin preludes, and then it it goes off. You know, it it varies. So the like the original sort of like baseline started from um, the one of the scores, and then it went. Then I I, I kind of take it <laughs> off in different directions. But it's more in terms of um, the intention of it is really about trying to get something across. And it doesn't, it's not necessarily intended to be political. However, people read that, it, I think it really depends on what it is that maybe is happening on the audience To side all of us, right. And, <laughs> yeah. um, or, you know, what you are wishing to hear being expressed uh, or need to hear or, but um, it, the, the, the original, like, in the creative process, it was really like that, just having to have something to say, and you're always being cut off, and you just keep on trying, and you keep on trying, and you keep on trying. 